Are you the kind of pilot that hates stalls and thinks more than 20 degrees of bank and 10 degrees of pitch is the danger zone? Do you fear that planes will suddenly start spinning when you least expect it? Airplanes do not have a mind of their own. They only do what the pilot tells them. Nothing more, nothing less. We talk to the plane through the flight controls, so it's important to learn how to speak the language well. Becoming an aviator is really about learning to communicate with the plane so you are always in command and never just along for the ride. I'm Spencer Suderman, airshow pilot, flight instructor, and two-time Guinness World Record breaker for most inverted flat spins. 98 turns from 24,000 feet. Sporties and I have teamed up to produce this video series on how to have more fun flying general aviation airplanes while improving your airmanship using the skills you already have and some novel techniques. Maybe you'll even start to appreciate stalls and fall in love with not always flying straight and level. It could happen. I'll mainly be flying a Cessna 172 in these videos, which is one of the most common trainers in the sky to demonstrate maneuvers and techniques that will make you a safer pilot who appreciates the three-dimensional nature of aviation. You'll also see me fly a Super Decathlon, one of the most common tailwheel and aerobatic trainers found at flight schools. Its speed, roll rate, and climb performance is very similar to the 172, which makes it an excellent next step when you have run out of fun in the Cessna and want to explore the realm of unlimited bank and pitch. The Decathlon will let you fully appreciate stalls and enjoy spins in a way the 172 can't. It will also let me take you through some what-if scenarios and demonstrate several myths of flying you may have been taught, such as spins are dangerous and hard to recover from, and you can't do more than 30 degrees of bank in the pattern. You can and should understand why this fairy tale keeps being told. By the way, it's very hard to spin a Cessna 172 by accident or even on purpose. I may be a flight instructor, but I'm not your instructor unless we're in a plane together. If you want to fly with me, I teach at the Patty Wagstaff Aviation Safety School in St. Augustine, Florida. Our training includes everything from upset prevention and recovery to advanced aerobatic courses. Click on the link below in the description if you would like to advance your stick and rudder skills in a super decathlon or extra 300. Now let's go up and learn to appreciate not being straight and level all the time. Number 869 Bravo Charlie, St. Augustine Tower, turn right on course, runway 31, clear for takeoff. Right on course, runway 31, clear for takeoff, 69 Bravo Charlie. Lights, camera, action. Okay, roll on to the runway. I'm gonna notice the airspeed, 80 knots is climb out. I'm gonna notice the sight picture. I should be able to pull the nose off the runway and right up to the climb attitude. Looking at the sight picture. What is the angle of the dashboard or the sides of the airplane? Anything that I can find to help me get a sight picture to the horizon. Once I know that, I need to memorize that sight picture. Looking right now. Bravo Charlie, amend your departure instructions. Continue runway heading, please. I've got the uh, Malibu inbound from the north. We'll continue runway heading uh, for 600 Bravo Charlie. Thank you, sir. I'll call you right turn. It won't be long. We'll be right here waiting. I can see the horizon about here, right about here on my dashboard. That's how I know where my 80 knot is. That's what you need to do every time you fly an airplane you're not familiar with or you're learning. Get to know what that climb out looks like. Once you know that, you can take your rubber cover. You can fly without the airspeed. Turn number 600 Bravo Charlie, turn right on course. Thanks for your help. Frequency change approved. Right on course, 600 Bravo Charlie. Frequency change approved. As we often like to check, if you can't see the ball because it's covered, how do you know when you have enough right rudder and on the climb? Well, I'm simply going to take my feet off the rudder pedals. Notice the nose is now sliding to the left, as it does. All I do is look down the side of the airplane. I notice. It's sliding in that direction. I just add enough right rudder to stop that. Too much right rudder, and of course it slides to the right. So just enough right rudder to make the airplane fly straight. Now, if I just check the ball, look at that. Ball's right in the center. That's how much right rudder you need in the climb. Here's a quick tip I like to teach people for engine out emergencies. And I'm going to uncover the airspeed indicator for that. First thing in an engine out emergency is establish best glide. 
Well, you could chase the airspeed indicator around, but there's a neat tip. Works in most all Cessnas and pretty much most general aviation airplanes. And that's simply to trim your wheel full nose up. So let's pretend we have an engine out emergency. Oh, look, lost the engine. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is gently trim full nose up. And that will take a lot of my workload off while I'm looking for a place to land. But look at that, I'm trimmed full nose up. At first, the nose will oscillate up and down a bit. But I don't have to worry so much about how much pitch to worry about, where's the trim wheel, the airspeed will take care of itself. And it's starting to settle in with all these nose oscillations right around 65 knots. The nose is still oscillating up and down, but it will settle in at the correct glide speed. Now, I've taken that piece of workload off. My vertical descent rate is about 600 feet per minute, which is normal in an engine out situation. I can look for the checklist, I can do all the other things you do in an engine out emergency, but look at that. My workload just decreased immensely simply with this quick tip. Okay, now before you recover from this, go ahead and fix your, fix your trim because you don't want to add the power and find yourself suddenly in a very nose high attitude. And we'll add the power back in and continue along the way. Are you ready to continue your aviation journey and further expand your flight skills? Check out one of Sporty's exciting aviation courses, which includes everything from private pilot training, how to fly tailwheel airplanes, and aerobatic training with Patty Wagstaff. Visit sporties.com forward slash discover for more information.